Oh, uh, I'm just showing our, showing off our new, you know, academic area since I be up here studying a lot, That's getting right. that work in. Yep, I know Q ain't laughing down there. <laughs> Q, I'm on camera. I know you ain't laughing down there. <laughs> Air conditioning, our weightlifting, probably been harder this year. They obviously getting us in shape for how we want to play, how fast we want to play. As a team, we just grow and just get better. Whoa! Let's work! Let's work! Let's go! Let's go! We've been lifting a lot, probably four days out the week. We've been lifting, you know, doing some individual workouts and you know, a little team stuff. It's been fun and it's and it's been hard, but you know, we're gonna grow out of it and it's gonna help us for the season. The guys have been here, you know, just showing us how things are done. We're just trying to like keep it up, keep it going and go harder, you know, just show up every day and give me everything you have. I see a lot of strengths just in uh, the team as a whole. There's a lot of tough-minded individuals and there's no egos on this team. I think the biggest thing that these guys have come to understand is that the work that has to be put in every single day. You have to put the time in, stacking days together. That's really what brings a team together. Good day too, y'all. Yes, sir, Steve. Yes, sir, Steve. Good day too. Come on, man. Good day too. You don't feel pain, you ain't doing something right, bro. Yes, sir. Badge number three, one, two, three. Badge. What's good, y'all? Kamari McGee here, and we're getting ready to show you around our new facilities. So we already seen the practice gym. We already know what we got there, but here I'll take y'all to the real side, to the weight room first. We got brand new racks, brand new turf. We got just a whole lot of new stuff, which makes it even, like, it's just more motivation to come in here and get right in the weight room, you know? Our little spinner dumbbells. Ever since I've been here, it's always been our dubs is up because we play for Wisconsin. So with these, like, no matter how you place it, no matter if it's spinning, that dub will always be up. And always show love to the state, Wisconsin, baby. So now on to the, the rehab recovery room. I spent a lot of my time in here, so this is like my second home for real. Nice little area we got here for the recovery. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, it's, it's beautiful just when you gotta rehab and recover, you know? And that brings us to the nice, beautiful training room we have in here. Man, it still got that new training room smell, I ain't gonna lie. Everything is, it's, it's nice, like everything. They really took their time with, with these new facilities, with these, the tables from the flooring to everything they put in here. It's just super nice. Next here we have our new academic area, the Higginbottom Family Academic Center. And I gotta say, it is super nice in here. I, mean, I spend a lot of my time in here studying, you know, when I got an exam coming up. Whenever you got like any homework you gotta do, you need peace of mind, quiet. You just come in here. All of these are just private rooms. It's a lot of space. You got booths here, booths left and right. It's not just an athlete, it's student athlete. So we gotta make sure we stand on top of our books too, as well as our game. Last but not least, we have our training table area, our snack room, where you can just come in here and grab you any snacks you need. And then over here, we got the actual training table to make sure that you are refueling and getting the nutrients you need after practice or after a hard day lift. When you're at a top school like this, you know you want to have the best things around you, and they make sure of that. They make sure we have the best weight rooms, the best training tables, the best training areas, just the best screens, honestly. Just look at that face. We are very thankful to be here, for sure. I think the biggest thing is just the people here. I love the people here. Doing those things off the court, whether it's pin seekers or going paintballing or just hanging out or going to coach's house, bringing us a little bit tighter. A ton of the guys during the day had went out to pin seekers. Oh, he might have tugged it a little bit. It's coming back though. Kind of just hung out, relaxed, saw the golf clubs, had some food. This is my favorite drink, it's lemonade. 
I uh, played some mini bowling, mini golf, and Appreciate it. got away from everything. And that's kind of what you need. It's just kind of a good mental break, uh -huh. but it was a great opportunity for us to kind of like, become closer with one another. I'm the only one that doesn't golf, so like, I'm just over here trying to hit as far as I can. It's just something that you do to kind of get away, give your mind a break, learn more about your teammates, you know, create a closer bond. And that'll help pay off, you know, when the season comes and that rolls around. Playing with each other, how you handle off-court interactions and different things like that. What I've watched is this group come together exceptionally fast, and I've been really impressed and, quite frankly, amazed by how fast they've come together and how connected they've become. We're going to have to come back here for yeah. sure. It's going to have to come back. That was a blast. That was a blast. Still got your bev. I feel like with a new core and a new group of guys, like you have to you know, get to know each other really fast, especially when you want a team that wants to win. The family feel you get when you put the red and white jersey on with the W or Wisconsin across the front. There's nothing like it. I feel like your college teammates are just who's going to be at your weddings and those are like your best friends because you spend so much time with them. It's not easy to find guys who are able to commit to each other and commit to something bigger than themselves, finding guys that'll embrace the, the Wisconsin way. And I think that you guys are outstanding. You have to know what your brother goes to on a daily basis to fight for him, fight with him. Let's focus on one day at a time and just worry about one game at a time and one practice at a time.